In the previous video, we looked at exponential curves. y is equal to 2 to the x, y equals 3 to the x. So, at some point uh, between 2 and 3, we get a curve so that when I draw it, the gradient at 0, 1 is 1. Okay, so the gradient of some number, or rather the gradient of this curve, y is equal to a to the x, so d by dx of a to the x, okay, evaluated when x is 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. And that number for A, where this occurs, has a very special value. In fact, it has a value of approximately 2.718, okay, to three decimal places. It's actually equal to a number that we define as E, okay? So, because of this, what happens is that it can also be uh, explained that e to the x is its own derivative. So if I have y is equal to e to the x, then d by dx of e to the x is just e to the x. Okay? So that when x is 0, we get e to the 0, which is just 1. So e, or the exponential equation here, e to the x, um, has these two definitions. They work in the same way, okay? But you can see it either way. So you can either see it as um, the function, the exponential function, uh, that when x is 0 and y is 1, the curve has gradient, a tangent gradient of 1. Or you can see it as the function that differentiates to itself. So e to the x differentiates to e to the x. And this introduces this brand new curve, this brand new number, e. e, like pi, is an irrational number, and e occurs all over the place in mathematics and science. It's used for um, population models, it's used for uh, exponential growth and decay. So the decay of radioactive elements, for example, we would use the letter E, we'd use the number E rather. And so it is incredibly important as a part of branch of mathematics. And in this chapter, we're going to be learning all about E and what it can do for us.